Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to 2A News Now. My name is Troy, and I really appreciate you taking your time tuning into my video. And here at 2A News Now, you get your Second Amendment news straightforward and to the point with no bullshit added in. New York is suing a company called Mean Arms, and they were the ones that sold the accessory for the Buffalo Mass Shooter's gun. New York on Thursday sued the company that sold the locking device included with the gun, used by a white you-know-what to kill 10 black people at a Buffalo grocery store last year, saying it allowed the shooter to turn the rifle into an illegal assault weapon. In a complaint filed in state court in Manhattan, Democratic Attorney General Latita James said Georgia-based Mean Arms LLC falsely claimed that its device can make a rifle comply with New York's ban on magazines that hold more than 10 rounds of ammunition by locking a 10-round magazine in place so that it cannot be replaced by a larger one. In fact, the lawsuit said the lock can easily be removed, and Mean Arms includes instructions on doing so on their packaging. The Buffalo shooter, Peyton Gendron, wrote in his manifesto that he removed the Mean's Arm lock from the AR-15 and replaced the magazine with one that holds 30 rounds. New York is accusing Mean Arms of deceptive business practices and aiding and abetting the possession of illegal assault weapons. It is seeking an order barring the company from selling its lock in New York and unspecified money damages. James said the lawsuit is part of their ongoing effort to pursue justice for 10 innocent lives that were unjustly taken. The lawsuit is the latest effort by Democratic state officials to go after the gun industry in court since the U.S. Supreme Court dramatically expanded gun rights nationwide last year. Gendron who had streamed live video of the attack on social media after posting a racist screed online, was sentenced to life without parole in February after pleading guilty to murder and terrorism charges in state court. He still faces federal charges, carrying a potential death sentence. You can see the picture that I posted from the Mean Arms website that that locking device is not for sale to New York residents. Let me say that nothing is foolproof. If people want to take off something off their firearm or add something to their firearm that may or may not be against the law, who's going to stop them from doing so, especially if they have bad intentions? There's always a way around things like that. It doesn't sound like their product was defective. A criminal with bad intentions took the lock off of the rifle, thus the rifle being able to accept a 30-round magazine, which is also illegal in the state as well. As always, I would really like to hear your thoughts about the story in the comments section down below. And once again, I would really like to thank everybody's support for the channel. And I really do appreciate it. You guys are always crushing it by liking, sharing, and subscribing and hitting those post notifications. And it helps the channel out tremendously and it really does help it grow. And also, I invite everybody back to see my next video.